dashing the dreams of the Northern Pacific Railroad. The project was entirely sh uh, shuttered, and the Pacific Railroad actually dismantled a bit of what they could to salvage the materials from the building and use those to create two uh, train depots. One in Missoula, Montana, and the other in the just absolute boomtown nightlife city of Wallace, Idaho. <laughs> so should you ever find yourself in either of those cities, you will probably find some buildings that look eerily similar. After the build of it, the project was shuttered in 1893, this building stayed abandoned until 1904. In 1898, it would suffer a structural fire on the inside of the building. Um, however, the main structure of the building still stood. And in 1904, the Tacoma Public School District purchases the land and starts construction on the public high school that we see today. Took them two years to construct, but in 1906, the doors of this building opened as a public high school, and it has remained a public high school ever since. The architect that was brought on for the school district to finish out the Hewitt and Hewitt design for the hotel was a man named Frederick Heath. He took the designs from the hotel, converted them to be able to be used as a school, and construction began on this building here. He did kind of reduce the size. Originally, the school was just going to use the blueprints for the hotel and try and do as best they could to convert it into a school. But he was able to reduce the size a bit and save the school district quite a bit of money. Now, uh, Stadium High School gets its name from the Stadium Bowl next door to us. Prior to the bowl being here, though, this was referred to as Tacoma High School. Before it was the bowl, though, the land next door to us was called, very affectionately, Old Woman's Gulch. <laughs> not the most flattering of names. Uh, but this area was not just for old women. This was, all, this was entirely a place just for widows. It served for widows, but specifically widows who had lost their husbands at sea. So if your husband died at sea, the city of Tacoma would grant you a plot of land in the Gulch where you could build a home and live out the rest of your days in peace and harmony. That is, until, of course, Frederick Heath wanted the land to create the Stadium Bowl. They evicted the women from their homes, flooded the Gulch so severely that it sliced the sides and flattened the bottom, creating the Stadium Bowl that we know today. Before the Tacoma Dome was constructed, Stadium Bowl was Tacoma's dome. That is where all of the major entertainment events for the city of Tacoma took place, including helicopter landings, firework shows. We've had four different presidents give presidential addresses in the bowl. And then what I think is one of the most wild events to take place, a full recreation of the fall of Carthage, Roman chariots and all also took place in the Stadium Bowl. Now we are going to begin our adventure tonight very similarly to how the students begin their adventure here at Stadium High School, and that is in the administration office. No vaping or smoking allowed inside the building. Not in the bathrooms. Nowhere that we will go this evening should you be smoking or vaping. If you think you are sneaky, the school is sneakier, and there are sensors throughout the building that can pick up both cigarette smoke and vape smoke. So, don't do it! Please, please, please. Alrighty, now that we're in the office, we are actually able to see a couple of the biggest features that we're going to see throughout the building. This is just a little bit of a taste test before we really dig into the building. Now, usually on this tour, people fall into one of three groups. We've got our architecture buffs that just see a castle in the middle of an urban development and want to know more about where that castle came from. Another group, we've got our history nerds. Those of you that know this building has a lot of not just the school's history, but the city's history to explore and learn. Our third group that we often have people fall into, and honestly, it's probably the biggest group, 
are fans of the film 10 Things I Hate About You. The film starring the late, great Heath Ledger was filmed on, almost entirely on location in the city of Tacoma. There are a few shots in Seattle, so Seattle tries to claim it as their own. It's not, it's ours. And it was filmed, quite a bit of it, so here in this building. The opening shot of that film is guidance counselor Perky's office where she is working on her erotic novel. That was filmed right here in the principal's office behind us. Also in this space, we are able to see an illustration on this back wall showing you what the design for the original hotel was. So if you want to take a peek at that, it is quite exciting to see just how much bigger this building was intended to be originally. We got ripped off. <laughs> you did. I know. I'm sorry. Taking you to this little cottage. This is a, this is a dog having a grand old time in the park. They're making use of the of the font, um, the Hogwarts font. Yeah. I mean. Now the boiler system is further down in the sub-basement, 
Uh, but in the 05 renovations, when they retrofitted and modernized all of their utilities and systems, the boiler was replaced and the boiler doors for the original boiler were no longer needed. So instead of throwing them away, the school had them refinished and installed as artwork for the school. This also allows us to see the original or the, the actual brickwork inside of the building. And you can see this is your classic red brick you would expect to see in this area. Now what is originally in its spot is the furnace here. So it can be very easy to get lost in this building. So to help orient yourself right now, where we saw the smokestack outside, we are now beneath that smokestack. Now this is the original furnace for the building and this is where it originally was located. It no longer is utilized, but they left it here as a kind of a historical marker for the students and for the building to have. This is completely welded shut, but this here is where they were burning the sawdust, the pig fat, the occasional bad student. All the time. <laughs> now, if you hadn't been here since the 05 renovation, we would be looking at one of the biggest transitions for the building. Um, as we go around the corner, though, we will be seeing how much the school changed after that 05 renovation. descending even further down and head into what I think is retribution and is the current cafeteria for these students. During the 05 renovation, when they were tearing down the plaster on the walls, they found what was originally built for the hotel.
Okay. Right hand side. I see it. Spider. <laughs> the spider's vaping. Yeah, the spider's vaping. Oh, so that's the spider doing the vaping. <laughs> So there are a couple different theories as to why her spirit is attached to this building. The leading theory is that she was likely one of the children whose mother had a home in Old Women's Gulch next door to us. And that the trauma of being expelled from that home has forever bound her to this space. She is not scary, nor is she vindictive, but she does roam the school. And in 2005, the elevators went in. When the elevators went in, she almost exclusively was sighted inside of the elevators. I think all of us have been on an elevator with a small child before. It's basically the exact same experience. She pushes all the buttons, she opens the door when it shouldn't be opening, all different kinds of shenanigans. Almost every time I ride this elevator, it opens up on floors that no one has pushed buttons for. Um, it'll stop on a floor, but door won't open. A couple different things have happened. So, should you maybe want to experience a potential for some sort of supernatural experience, take the elevator. If you're really trying to get those steps in, take the stairs. Either way, we're going all the way to the top and I'll meet you there. I'm not taking the stairs. I'm taking the elevator. Don't bother your head in this one.
Now again, we are a small company. We thrive on reviews. So if you had a good time with me tonight, I would love your feedback. If you did not have a good time with me tonight, I say we just pretend this never happened. You don't know me. I don't know you. We'll go on our merry ways. <laughs> One last time, my name is Anna. I am so glad you guys came along with me. If you need it, men's restrooms here. Ladies, restrooms here. The doors behind me take you home. Have a great night, Thank everybody. You. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I hope to see you guys on future tours. Thank you so much. And make sure to wave goodbye to Ballsy the Tiger. If you can guess why that's his name, you too might be a high schooler. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Well, here we are in front of Stadium, Stadium High, High School. School. Let's see if we can get it. <laughs>